from 32 then in, in, uh, with Mary then. Right. So um, it's the same thing. Well, acting by Mary is the, the uniting of our will with Mary, okay? Mm. Acting with Mary for Monfort is a little bit different. For Monfort here, now we're really talking about partnership with Mary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here the focus is on imitating and making our own the virtues of Mary. Okay. And so now I don't just act with a gentleness in the spirit of Mary, but with the gentleness of Mary. Uh, here I begin to pray, not with a prayerfulness that shares something of Mary's spirit, but with the prayerfulness of Mary. And so for Montfort, at this point, now what we begin to do is we begin to look at the virtues and the qualities of our Blessed Mother and say, we need to really let these root themselves with us and we act with these mm -hmm. uh, in our actions. And Montfort recommends a number of things very, very in particular that, uh, that we want to focus on. We want to make her faith um, something that we, we seek to participate in, her lively faith, mm -hmm. her humility, her purity. Right. And as we begin growing in these aspects, these characteristics, these virtues of Mary, the quality and the character of our actions changes. Okay. Now, right. Now, in the true devotion, Montfort adds something very curious here. He starts talking about acquiring the devotion, uh, the virtues of Mary. And in the next breath, he says, because Mary is the mold of God. And when we're melted down, when we act by Mary, we bracket mm -hmm. our will and melt ourselves down in the mold that is Mary, her virtues, the end result is not a copy of Mary. The end result is Jesus. Jesus. He's forming us into his image right. and likeness. And, you know, and one of the questions when Montfort uses this wonderful image of the mold of God for Mary is, well, how do we let ourselves be melted down? Mm -hmm. Montfort says it's these first two movements, by Mary and with Mary. First, I set my spirit aside and I participate in her spirit. Mm -hmm. I act according to her spirit. Second, he says, if I want to be molded in Mary, the best way is to begin allowing her virtues to shape me. Mm -hmm. Because as they're shaping me, what's really happening is I'm being broken down and being formed not into a copy of Our Lady, but into the likeness of her son. Okay, that's a beautiful way to put it. Not a copy of Our Lady, but a likeness of her son. Well, continuing on, Father, how I can perform all of our actions in Mary and then for Mary. Mm -hmm. And the answer here really does pick up a, a very important nuance in Montfort. One of the things that's really remarkable about Montfort is the place he assigns Mary. Mm -hmm. And, or I should say the place he assigns the believer. Because he says, we need to live and move within Mary. Jesus alive in Mary, Jesus living in Mary is the centerpiece of Montfort's right. understanding. And he says, this is what we share. And so like Jesus, we begin to live and become formed in Mary. If I'm poured into a mold, mm -hmm. I'm within the mold. Okay. And right. so Montfort says, now having worked to do my actions with Mary and by Mary, mm -hmm. what I find is I'm immersed in Mary. Mm -hmm. And... Mary is the atmosphere around me. Mary is the soil under my feet. In fact, Montfort calls Mary the paradise of the new Adam. That rich soil, the clay out of which the new Adam is formed and where he takes his rest. And then Montfort says Mary is also our paradise. And it's there where we can take our rest with God and enjoy communion with him. And so here, if Mary is the mold which makes us into the likeness of her son, Montfort says, now let's take that seriously and see that as we are formed into the likeness of Jesus in this paradise of Mary's virtue, in this right. paradise of Mary's prayer, here we become unspeakably closely united with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Father Bernard, what are your insights on this? In I was just thinking uh, in Mary, <clears throat> if she's the paradise of the new Adam, and she's the paradise of the new Adam's members. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, yes, we, we get formed and shaped by her, and, uh, but we start to act with her mm -hmm. and in her. 
I'm not quite sure how to visualize that, <laughs> but uh, in the sense that, well, okay, she will lead me to, uh, I'll be doing everything with her and in her. You know, that's the unusual thing about Monfort, is some of the things he tells us are difficult to visualize. How do I visualize a person as a garden? You know, how do I visualize a person as an environment or an atmosphere? But it's, it's this notion of moving within Mary, or Mary somehow surrounds me and enfolds me, that's very, very vital for Monfort. And this, for Monfort, is a grace. The Holy Spirit has to bring me to this point. I don't get myself there. Mm -hmm. um, but the wonderful thing is, you know, he puts this in third place, not because it's third most important, mm -hmm. but because we get there by the practical movements of by Mary and with Mary. Mm -hmm. We make the practical movement of trying to act according to her spirit. Mm -hmm. That we can do. We make the practical movement now of trying to make her virtues and dispositions our own. Mm -hmm. That we can do. And the result of that which we can't do, is that we find ourselves now beginning to move and act and operate within uh, Mary. How would you relate that with uh, what Paul talks about when he says we have to put on Christ, clothe ourselves in Christ? Um, you know, that's a, wonderfully, a wonderful parallel insight here because Monfort begins to say, and acting with Mary for Monfort is that point of clothing ourselves with Mary. Mm -hmm. We put on her virtues. We make them our own. But the interesting thing for Monfort is that, um, that this is not just now clothing ourselves. We don't just wear Christ um, as a garment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because even for Paul later on, we'll talk about, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Right. And, mm -hmm. and for Monfort, it's sort of the reverse. It's no longer me putting on Mary, but now I am beginning to live within her. Um, and so it's, it's a very similar mm -hmm. kind of a concept. It's not exactly the same. Because what's going on here is I find myself now more deeply and deeply surrounded mm -hmm. by Mary. And all of a sudden then what that means is that I am more and more fully and truly sharing life with Jesus. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it's this living in Mary that clothes me with Christ. You know? And so if, uh, if Paul says, you know, put on Jesus Christ for Montfort, this is how we begin to do it. Okay, so, so this would be his process. I begin by putting on Mary mm -hmm. because as that happens, the end result mm -hmm. is I am formed into Christ. Well, presence is so important. I remember Father Grishel saying once, you know, you can be, you can have a nun kneeling before our Eucharistic Lord praying, but her mind is somewhere else. She's not right. really present. Because someone else, maybe a mother is taking care of her child and, but still talking to Mary, how do I handle this? Right. She's present. <laughs> right. It's being present. You know, and, and there's another aspect to this kind of presence. Um, and, and this is one of the reasons why this image of Mary as the atmosphere around us mm -hmm. or the, the ambient or the environment in which we live our faith Mm -hmm. become so important. I'm not always conscious of the air I breathe, right. but I'd be dead without it. That's right. <laughs> I'm not always thinking about the ground under my feet, but I need it there. Yeah. I'm not always conscious of the warmth of the sun, yeah. but it's so necessary. Right. And, and Monfort is saying, when we really settle into this devotion, the presence of Mary becomes like that. Not that we take her for granted, mm -hmm. but that it becomes so natural. Right. Um, so natural that we are moving within her. Mm -hmm. You know, that there are those moments where I really appreciate the quality of the freshness of the air of her presence. And other times where I simply need to be about my work, I'm still within her. 